Have you seen this cover yet? This is the latest cover uh, from La Prensa Latina, the Memphis area's largest bilingual newspaper. There it is, MLK Day. The time is always right to do what is right. It is on newsstands right now, joined by the editor of La Prensa Latina, Vivian Fernandez de Adamson. Happy Friday, Vivian. How are you? Hi, Andrew. Happy Friday. How are you? Doing well, thank you very much. So there's an article about MLK and the National Civil Rights Museum. Tell me about it. Yes, absolutely. Uh, uh, they're, going, they're going to celebrate uh, MLK on Monday, uh, January 16th. So they're going to have free admission thanks to FedEx, who is one of the sponsors. And uh, it's going to be an extended schedule uh, from 8 in the morning until 6 in the evening. So people can go, you know, and check the exhibits and also, you know, they can um, have um, community activities, you know, other activities for children. Uh, there's going to be live entertainment, music. So it's going to be a fun day for the whole family and there's going to be education activities as well. So it's going to be really nice for everybody to learn more, um, a little bit more about Martin, Dr. Martin Luther King. Okay, sounds like a great event for sure. Um, something else that's in uh, this uh, new edition of La Prensa Latina has to deal with uh, Pope Benedict and uh, his funeral that happened this week. Tell me more about that. Yes, I mean, as we all know, he passed away uh, last Saturday. So, you know, they had like uh, three days, you know, uh, were actually almost four days, you know, for the funeral at the Vatican. And, uh, you know, more than I would say more than 200,000 people uh, went to the Vatican City, you know, just for this, you know, just to say goodbye, you know, farewell to the Pope. Okay, Vivian, and um, this uh, there's another um, story with regards to migration and the Cuban embassy. Tell me more about this. Yes, uh, this is another situation that uh, has been really difficult uh, for immigration here in the U.S. Uh, we all know that there's a lot of immigrants coming to the country from Cuba and also from Nicaragua, Haiti, Venezuela, Mexico, and other countries. Uh, so for Cuba, this is very special because, you know, the embassy was closed for so long, and now finally they reopened uh, this week uh, for visas and other documents that, you know, some of the people might need, some of the uh, you know, Cubans that would like to come to this country because they have family here too. So it's very important, uh, not only for Cuba, but also for this country as well. Because, you know, it's, it's kind of, you know, controlling a little bit more the situation, the immigration situation that uh, they have here in the country. Okay, these are just some of the stories that you can find on La Prensa Latina there at LaPrensaLatina.com. Yes. It's on newsstands right now. Uh, Vivian, anything else before we let you go? Yes, please do not forget that... Um, this is the weekend where we celebrate Elvis's birthday. And actually, right now, you can't see it right there because of a background that I have, but I'm here at Graceland right now. You know, I'm going to see the exhibit, the new exhibit that they have, uh, which is uh, Making Elvis. This is about the movie that was so successful last year. So, you know, I'm just excited to see this exhibit. Uh, and, you know, I invite everybody to come and see it as well. You know, it looks very interesting. And, you know, you can learn more about not only how they made the movie, but also more about Elvis Presley as well. That sounds great. I love the movie. I'm sure you did as well. And um, looking forward yes. to that. And uh, in the words of Elvis, thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate you, Vivian. <laughs> thank Have you. A Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you. Bye-bye.